and welcome to the Air Access Technical Introduction video. In addition to this video, please reference the Air Access Quick Start Guide for step-by-step -step instructions. The Air Access Quick Start Guide should be included with the Air Access Kit. The Air Access System is the industry's first cellular-based access control system. The Air Access System developed by AlarmLock is fully compatible with AlarmLock's wireless Architech and Networks devices, including the Net Panel Wireless Control Panel and the Networks Expanders. The Air Access System supports up to six gateways, with each gateway supporting up to 63 locks or net panels. If additional range is needed between a gateway and locks, an expander can be used. Each gateway supports up to seven expanders. Installation is simple. Connect the Air Access Cellular System Communicator, also referred to as a radio, to the Air Access Gateway with one RJ45 Ethernet network cable. If additional gateways are needed, a standard Ethernet network switch must be used. One very important note. The air access radio and gateway do not connect to the customer's IT network, eliminating the need for support from the customer's IT department. The air access system allows you to upload and download lock programming features wirelessly using the air access cloud. The connection to the air access cloud is made through a secure internet connection the Air Access Cloud communicates to the hardware via a cellular air access radio, wired directly to one air access gateway or additional gateways with a standard Ethernet network switch. The gateways communicate to each radio inside each wireless lock via a private wireless signal. The air access radio and gateway is powered by a transformer which plugs into a standard 120 volt AC wall outlet. The first step is to power up the air access radio. Once the radio is powered up, you must register your air access radio and purchase an air access service plan on the NAPCO ComNet site at www.napcocomnet.com. If you are an active NAPCO ComNet dealer and have an account, Log into your NAPCO ComNet account in the existing dealer section. Upon registering and activating the radio on ComNet, the information will automatically be sent to the Air Access Cloud Web Portal. If you are not yet registered as a NAPCO ComNet dealer, please complete the New Dealer section. Once submitted, please allow up to 24 hours for your ComNet account activation confirmation. Upon receiving your confirmation, log into your NAPCO ComNet account and activate the Air Access Radio. Upon activation of the radio, the information will automatically be sent to the Air Access Cloud web portal. The next step is to power up the Air Access Gateway and connect the gateway to the Air Access Radio using one RJ45 Ethernet network cable. The distance between the radio and gateway must be at least 6 feet. The air access radio and gateways are plug and play and should auto enroll in the air access software automatically. The next step is to log into the air access cloud. The air access cloud can be accessed from the ComNet website or by typing in www.airaccess.cloud into a supported browser. After accessing the Air Access software, you will have the option to log in as a dealer or an end user. The dealer login will provide all the functions needed to configure a complete Air Access system for the dealer account and all hosted customer accounts. The end user login will only provide the necessary functions needed for administration purposes only and only for their account. Next, log in as a dealer. Upon logging in as a dealer, the user profile selection screen will display. Select the dealer or integrator profile. Upon logging in, the personnel screen will display. On the right side of the screen, a five-step configuration wizard will display. 
A click on each step will bring you to the screen that requires configuration. Next, click step 1 in the configuration wizard to navigate to the list of radio devices in the Air Access Cloud. After clicking step 1, the Air Access radio you previously registered should be auto-enrolled and displaying in the radio list. Next, on the Air Access radio browser screen, Double-click the Air Access radio that was auto-enrolled. Upon doing so, the Radio Insert slash Update screen will display, and Step 2 of the Configuration Wizard will highlight. Next, the gateway you connected to the Air Access radio should be auto-enrolled and displaying in the Gateway list under Sub-Devices. After mounting the lock to the door or the net panel to the wall, Click Step 3 to open the Wireless Configuration screen. On the top half of the screen, select the gateway that you will be assigning the lock or panel to. On the bottom half of the screen, click Discover Locks. After clicking Discover Locks on the Wireless Configuration screen, the Add Lock screen will display. Select the number of locks to discover and click Discover Locks on the Add Lock screen. After the lock is discovered, it will display in the Discovered Lock list. Select the lock you wish to add, double-click the lock in the list to display the details for the lock. Review the information for the lock, and if it is correct, click Add Selected Lock. After adding the lock and clicking Close, the added lock will display on the bottom of the Wireless Configuration screen. Next, click Step 4 to display the Personnel screen. The Personnel screen is used to add badges to the Air Access system. Note, by default, new badges added to the Air Access system will have access to all doors 24-7. To customize access levels, please refer to Time Schedules and Access Groups. To add a badge, click Add. After clicking Add, the personal information screen will display. Enter last name, first name, and badge number. By default, the All Doors Access group will be assigned to the badge. Click Save. After clicking Save, the badge will display on the personnel screen. Next, click Step 5 to display the Events and Pending Alerts screen. The top half of the screen is the events grid. The bottom half of the screen is the alerts grid. The events and pending alerts screen will display high priority alerts real time. The low priority alerts can be retrieved manually at any time from the configuration locks panel screen. To manually retrieve the low priority alerts, click configuration locks panels on the main menu. Select the lock you wish to manually retrieve the events from. Click the Retrieve Events button. If the low priority events are not manually retrieved, they will be received automatically at midnight of each day. This concludes the Air Access introduction video. For more information on Air Access, please contact Alarm Lock Sales.